Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a review on the new Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. As soon as I saw Hourglass was releasing this, I knew I wanted to pick it up. I love Hourglass products. I'm obsessed with skin tints right now, as I'm sure a lot of you are as well. This is what the packaging looks like. You get 35 milliliters of product for $66 Canadian. There are 18 shades available. I have shade 10, which is a medium with neutral undertones. I was going between shade 10 and 11. And shade 10 is definitely neutral pulling more pink than I would say warm, so keep that in mind. The product gives you a lightweight skin tint, light coverage. It is hydrating, it boosts moisture levels by 52%. It has a dewy glow radiant finish, all day wear, it's vegan and cruelty free. There's a few key ingredients in this which they highlight. They have meadow foam seed oil. It replenishes with nourishing fatty acids to strengthen skin moisture barrier. Hyaluronic acid attracts water to plump skin with hydration and plant-based squalane protects against moisture loss to help retain skin's natural radiance. Love the packaging, it's sleek, it's a squeezy tube. Up there in price, but on par with Hourglass price point. Hourglass is a higher end brand and I've had really great success with their complexion products. Their foundations are top tier for me. Their stick and their soft glow are go-tos of mine. Repurchases. I was very excited to see them release a new skin tint. This isn't a first impression. I have worn this just to test out the formula so I can give you my full thoughts in this video. Let's get right to it. Put it on the skin to show you what it looks like on. I have nothing on my skin right now. And this is a very light to sheer coverage product. You will see that when I apply it, I will try and build it up. I do feel it best to apply with a brush because this is such a sheer product that I feel like the brush at least maintains some of the coverage or put this on with your fingers. Kind of depends on what you like. You can see with just one application, just how sheer the coverage is. I'm gonna do one side of my face with the product that I showed you. It is very moisturizing and looks like skin. If you're looking for something skin-like, moisturizing, sheer coverage, just everyday sort of product, then this product's for you. It is one of the most natural looking skin tints that I personally used. I see that radiant finish, but I don't find it oily looking on my skin. I do have normal to dry skin. So I'm going to apply another layer to this side just to match it, but you can see very light coverage. And then I will build it up one more layer just so you can see how you can build this up. I do feel like I could have got away with 11. I thought it might be a little too dark when I saw it online, but if I could go back, I probably would pick shade 11 for myself. This is more sheer and lightweight compared to the Danessa Myricks, but just as moisturizing, I feel, and has a similar wear to it. If you're curious about that comparison, I did do a video on the Danessa Myricks as well. You can see kind of how much coverage it gives compared to my skin. There are some similarities between the two products, but definitely some differences, especially the coverage of this is very sheer, but it looks like skin. It looks like moisturized, healthy skin with a little bit of a tint. And now I'm gonna build it up a second layer just so you can see the kind of coverage you can get with this product. For me, I feel like I have to use quite a bit of product to get it to the amount of coverage that I like. And then I do go in with a little bit of concealer just to spot conceal any of the spots that I just feel like need that extra coverage. But overall for the majority of my skin, I feel like it's really, really nice. Very natural. I love how this wears too. You will see at the end of the day how this wears on my skin. It has a really good wear, holds on, doesn't slip and slide off the skin or fade away. It just is a really nice formulation. In terms of how this looks like on the skin, you really can't get more natural than this. This looks like your skin, just with a slight bit of tint, really nice finish. I love how youthful it makes the skin look. I do feel like my skin maintains moisture throughout the day while wearing this. I feel hydrated, I don't feel dry at the end of the day when I remove this. My skin feels really, really nice using this product. So it feels good putting on the skin and I love that I feel like my skin isn't losing moisture throughout the day because some facial products can just draw that moisture out of your skin and feel a little bit tight and dry, but this absolutely not super moisturizing. So I love that aspect. I love the wear. The only thing for me about this is that this is very much a sheer light coverage which I know some people love, but I do like adding just a little bit more coverage to cover up some of the spots that I just feel like need a little bit more coverage. So that's where concealer comes in for me. So I'm just going to go ahead, spot conceal a couple spots, 
use concealer on my under eye just to brighten up that area. I don't feel like I need too much for discoloration or darkness. It's just really to fill in that area to smooth it out a bit. Using my Tarte Shape Tape, I just like a little bit of concealer here underneath the eye. And that's pretty much it for the spots that I want to conceal. If I'm having more redness on my cheeks, I will go ahead and put a little bit there, but I just need the extra bit of coverage in these spots. That is the skin with just a little bit of extra coverage from the concealer. It is probably the most skin-like skin tint I've personally used because it acts like a moisturizer on my skin. It doesn't sit on my skin at all. You really can't detect it. It just looks like healthy skin. It's really, really beautiful. So I'm just gonna go ahead, go off camera, lightly powder, do my bronzer, all that, come back, and I will show you how makeup sits on this product. I am back. Here's what the makeup looks like with everything that I added. I did powder brush bronzer. I will leave everything below in case you're curious of what I used on top of this skin tint, but I love the finished product, how natural my skin looks and how smooth everything looks. I feel like for Hourglass, for my skin, it really does a good job at making my skin look more youthful and smooth. It's great for fine lines and wrinkles, I feel like, especially my forehead even, just looks super, super smooth. <laughs> Obviously, I wish the price was a little less. <laughs> However, it is Hourglass, so I'm willing to purchase the product if it's going to look this good on my skin, and especially if it wears this well. So that is one thing that I wanted to show you for the end of the day. That is the deal breaker for me, whether something wears well or not, if it starts to patch off, break apart, all those bad things that you don't want, then it's a deal breaker. I need my products to wear throughout the day and I don't wanna have to fuss and touch up throughout the day. So I will leave you here. This is what it looks like initially applied. I do know this wears well on my skin, but I want to show you at the end of the day how this looks like on my skin. So we're gonna stop here, come back in about eight hours or so, maybe longer, we will see. And I will show you how this wore throughout the day. Going on nine hours, we are back. Here is the skin tint on my face. You can see it held up really well. I do have a little bit of transfer from my mascara underneath my eyes, so they're looking a little dark. But I would go ahead and press this into my face. I think it held up nicely though. And I was at the pool and I was in a hot tub. So I had a little bit of splashing on my face and obviously the steam from the hot tub. So I feel like with all that being said, it held up really good in those conditions. And I also have a photo from yesterday when I wore it around eight to nine hours as well. And it held up even better, but I also wasn't outside doing so much. I still think with those conditions of kids splashing me in the pool and a hot tub, this did really well today. It still looks nice and glowy and hydrating and there's no patching, which is a deal breaker for me. Nothing has settled into fine lines either. I feel like my forehead looks quite nice and I can always tell above my brows whether something's gonna settle or not. So all in all, held up really nicely. My nose is messed up though from the sunglasses that I was wearing outside today, but I would just go ahead, repress everything in. I would just start with my T-zone and my under eye just because of the mascara. I don't even feel like I need it around anywhere else to press it in. It still looks like it did when I initially put it on, but we'll go ahead to see what kind of difference that makes. I like when my natural oils start to come through and it looks even more natural. But for a skin tint, I mean, my skin didn't eat it up, which is good because sometimes with more moisturizing products like this, my skin just eats up the coverage and you don't see anything by the end of the day. So it lasts, it is long wearing like it suggests and it does everything it claims in my opinion. I think this is the most natural looking skin tint that I personally own. So because of that, I really, really like it. And I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this as well. The only thing that I would probably go back and possibly get shade 11, I feel like it's still a pretty good match though. What do you think? I do feel like it matches my body. I thought it was a little too neutral at first. However, I do think it actually adjusts better throughout the day or the powder that I put on made it look a little bit more like my body. But anyways, I'm very happy with this product. I'm 100% keeping this and will continue to use it. I think it especially looks good outside. Often for products like this, I feel like it doesn't translate on camera because 
I prefer heavier makeup on me on camera, but this is one of those things that I love on my skin. It looks so good in person and I hope it's translating on camera, but often it doesn't just because of more sheer coverage. I feel like camera picks up everything on my skin, but I do love this because of how natural, how hydrating and long wearing it is. So overall, very, very happy. $66 Canadian is pricey, but I mean, it's hourglass and I love their complexion products. I definitely recommend it if you were interested in picking this one up. Would I recommend it over other skin tints that I have. If you want something even more natural, yes. However, for price point, I still think at the end of the day, I'm picking my beauty blender because it has more coverage for me. Has the long wear and the price is way, way better. So if I had to pick, but for me, I love to change it up and try things. And if price weren't an object, I feel like this would be one that I would continuously repurchase over and over. So it is very, very nice. I'm very happy with the purchase. Hope this was helpful. I know this was a shorter video, but I just wanted to get the information out there and show you everything about it to let you have an informed opinion on whether this would be something you like or not based on the claims, which I feel like it ticks all the boxes. It's always so nice to see when a product actually lives up to the claims it has, because sometimes with products, they don't. And there's some things I disagree with, but for this completely, I feel like it's tick, tick, tick. Everything lives up to the claims for me. So again, thank you guys so, so much for clicking on my video, for wanting to know my opinion on the new Hourglass Skin Tint. I hope this helps you out. And if you have not already, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos. I will see you guys in my next one.